Hello, everyone. Welcome to my presentation, and this is my presentation with titles that you can read here: enhancing EFL learning with AI generated pictures. And this is my profile. You can email me if you wish to collaborate, and I also wish to collaborate with you all. Let's start. This is the main content I have today, and um. The first one the about the radical issues, as you know, is that visual ads, I mean, pictures, it are widely acknowledged as a rich resource in ERT that can primarily promote relationship learning. However, if the teacher they just rely on the textbook images, they can lack the creativity, and even they can lo lose their student engagement of time or they don't have the labor energy to design. They want to look for the images in the internet, but also time and labor consumer for them, consuming for them to accommodate the lesson objectives. Therefore, they can use the AI image generators. Actually, when you search for the AI image generators in the internet, you can figure out a lot of resources and these are the tools I have used and these are pros and cons that I reflex myself to figure out this table so you can read here um, actually today I will talk about being image creator uh, one of the AI tools I have used to generate picture in my class so I can have a lot of activities due based on these kinds of image generating AI tools. Um, actually, being an image creator is powered by Dolly, by OpenAI, it's from Microsoft company. And is, there are some advantages why I prefer to use being an AI creator because it is far more approachable. And the users are not required to use any apps or uh, interface to art generating uh, I mean, it's to be beginner friendly, and especially when you use it, try to avoid harmful and unsafe words because the the tools can uh, refuse to have you. Uh, you can access to being image creator through the icon in Microsoft Edge, or even you can use the link to yes log in, and this is the interface of the being image creator. Um, besides that, when you use the Bing Chat, you also give it prompts, and it also used the image creator to have you to more help more pictures. And this is a tablet I suggest you use when you use the Bing AI uh, to generate a picture for you, and especially try to detail as possible. And of course, you can yes give it prompts with your objects too with some adjectives as well and the style like digital art or 3D art. Let's talk about the main part classroom activities. So uh, the reverse authors they talk about the classroom activities for pictures like or uh, uh, he suggests some two activities including describing the pictures and picture differences. Uh, another author suggests four activities is partition. Uh, for example, the student can work in group to find the picture or you use the picture to test their memory as well. Besides, the student can be split into groups and then they can uh, make the stories or they can be exposed to the strange pictures to create a story about it. However, in my class, when I'm involved in AI tools, I indulge in it, I use the image created pictures. And you being image creator, as I told you, and this is the sample prompt for you. I asked the AI to create a sequence of four pictures describing a family traveling at the beach, and these are the results I get. Um, right. So the first activity I use is visual gallery for one of one. And the aim is to arouse the student interest and activate the background knowledge. And first the first of course you use the AI tool to have the sequence of four photos, right? Of pictures. And then you stick it around the class 
and the student they got him for groups as so uh, extra group or extra him of the student they observe one by one feature and they take notes by on the questions they use your question prompts um, and then the student come back to your roof up story of solving four photos at the total and they discuss and then they get ready to present the answers so I believe that through this activity they know the topic what it's about today what they uh, doing to learn about and also they can activate their previous knowledge about the vocabulary their grammar right and of course the question prompts teacher can modify based on their objectives and based on the student uh, level interest uh, so I suggest you uh, the plume taxonomy when you want to modify the questions and of course you should consider their levels the time allocation for warm-up activities and how much engagement do you want your student to have in this activity and how much like uh, speaking yeah, you want or writing you want the student to be born in in this form of activities uh, and then I keep using these four photos to teach the vocabulary relates to summer vacation for example a guided tour and oh the, the photo is so beautiful so I teach the student like stunning landscape or breathtaking view I think uh, teaching vocabulary with features is not something innovative and yes however with this sequence photo is so convenient and this is of course more creative more engaging for a student instead of you just use some photos on google right this is your own photos your own picture and then i keep using these four photos for writing practice the student they write a story about family on holiday at the beach and of course with the grammar points here you can Yes, you can ask the student focus on will, I mean, future symbol, uh, be going to, to talk about plan or their past vacation. So it's for, it depends on your grammar focus. And another activity is about speaking. Yeah, the student, they play drones this is because their family, right? So it's so easy for them to play drones as a member in the story. And you see, because the, this is a sequence of the, uh, photo so therefore they know the the influx uh, they, they have the, the this the situation so therefore the student can easy to play room and they they talk about their participation yet yeah, also all depends on the grammar focus and the last one is this ticket and keep using these four photos the student are required to look at or observe the four photos again and then they just write out three words they remembered and two sentences based on the grammar points, one thing you want to improve after this lesson. I mean, the three, two, one framework for reflection and I use here for exit ticket. So I think uh, being image creator is so useful and instrumental in helping the teacher to uh, consume or to save the time, the energy to find out or to shut or to even they want to design. They just think of a prompt as I suggest, as I suggest already, and they think of their lesson objectives and the key being being AI a prompt, and yet then you can get a sequence of photos for a lot of activities, and these are the activities I suggest to you: the visual gallery, vocabulary teaching explicitly or implicitly, writing practice, speaking practice it is a ticket. Right, so that's it for my presentation. These are references for you. Thank you for your watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed my presentation.